A discrete evolution is underway in the realm of aviation, with the emergence of a collection of advanced and experimental aircraft named X-Planes. This transformative fleet has the potential to revolutionize the global landscape of aviation technology. Jointly crafted by experts from the defense sector and top-tier American aerospace contractors, these aircraft provide an exciting preview of the forthcoming advancements in air power. Representing a collaboration between insiders from the Defense Department and leading aerospace contractors in the United States, these pioneering vehicles offer us a tantalizing glimpse into the future of airborne capabilities. The impact of these advancements on the field of aviation technology is poised to be transformative, reshaping conventional perspectives on air power and its applications on a global scale. History of X-Planes The legacy of X-Planes traces back to the iconic Bell X-1 of 1946, a rocket-powered marvel that predates the establishment of the Air Force. Originally operating under the auspices of the U.S. Army Air Force and the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics NACA, the X-1 named Glamorous Glennis etched its name in history by becoming the first piloted aircraft to break the sound barrier in October 1947. Guided by the skilled hands of flying ace Chuck Yeager, this achievement marked a milestone in aviation's journey into supersonic realms. Two decades later, another rocket-powered X-plane would etch its own indelible mark. Piloted by William Pete Knight, the X-15 shattered speed barriers that endure to this day. In a feat of engineering and courage, the X-15 breached a hypothetical hypersonic threshold roaring across the heavens at Mach 6.7. While speed has been a hallmark of X-planes, their significance extends beyond velocity. Enter the Grumman X-29, an unconventional design with backward-swept wings that pushed aerodynamic boundaries. Though not adopted due to complexities, the X-29 introduced digital fly-by-wire controls and advanced lightweight composite materials, embedding their influence in subsequent aircraft, both military and civilian. Advancing into the 21st century, the Northrop Grumman X-47B made history anew. In 2013, it became the inaugural pilotless tactical aircraft to achieve carrier takeoffs and landings. Expanding its horizons, it achieved the first ever autonomous aerial refueling just two years later. These milestones now underpin the U.S. Navy's MQ-25 Stingray program, dedicated to uncrewed drone refueling tailored for carrier operations. With over 72 aircraft bearing the X-Plane moniker, America's experimental initiatives extend beyond groundbreaking achievements, serving as catalysts for novel technologies, production methods, and aviation concepts. DARPA's X-65 Crane DARPA's X-65 Crane, an acronym for Control of Revolutionary Aircraft with Novel Effectors, is poised to enact a transformative shift in aviation technology. The primary objective of Crane is nothing short of revolutionary. The elimination of conventional moving flight control surfaces, such as ailerons, rudders, and elevators on aircraft. While this may appear as a technical detail, those well-versed in aviation recognize its monumental significance. This endeavor could potentially rival the profound impact that stealth technology introduced over half a century ago reshaping aircraft design at its core. The cornerstone of the crane program lies in the concept of active flow control. In essence, this approach leverages advanced technological systems to supplant traditional moving flight control surfaces. Unlike the current setup, which relies on exposed moving parts, active flow control utilizes integrated systems to achieve the same results. One distinctive approach employed by crane involves directing controlled bursts of air from the aircraft's jet engines through specific nozzles distributed across its fuselage. The outcome is an altered trajectory during flight. This concept was expounded upon in detail within the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics Academic Journal. Alternatively, a different approach, detailed in the Journal of Applied Physics, envisions an array of electrodes on the aircraft's skin. These electrodes induce precise intervals and locations of electrical discharge to rapidly heat surrounding air. 
thereby altering its density and aerodynamic impact on the aircraft. The implications of eliminating conventional control surfaces extend beyond stealth technology to the realm of hypersonic flight. Current stealth aircraft diligently mitigate radar returns caused by moving control surfaces, often utilizing radar-absorbent materials or creative solutions like tape. However, an aircraft devoid of these control surfaces would markedly enhance stealth capabilities, streamline maintenance, and reduce operational expenses. The implications for hypersonic flight are even more profound. Navigating at hypersonic velocities presents substantial engineering challenges due to extreme pressure and friction at speeds exceeding Mach 5. Conventional control surfaces would face daunting hurdles in managing such conditions. In contrast, the application of electrodes or controlled air puffs, reminiscent of the space shuttle's chemical thrusters, could potentially revolutionize the feasibility of hypersonic maneuvering. While the allure of active flow control is particularly compelling for stealth and hypersonic platforms, its potential extends to non-stealth and non-hypersonic aircraft as well. By obviating the need for flight control surfaces, aircraft could shed significant weight, thereby enhancing speed range and payload capacities. Furthermore, the implementation of such systems might lead to fewer moving components, translating into reduced maintenance demands, higher readiness rates, and ultimately, lower operational costs. AI-powered X-Planes In June of 2021, the U.S. Air Force introduced a significant reclassification, designating its NF-16D Variable In-Flight Simulator Aircraft VISTA, as an X-Plane, now christened the X-62 AVISTA. This extensively modified Block 30 F-16D Fighting Falcon has emerged as a marvel of maneuverability thanks to its multi-axis thrust vectoring nozzle. This innovation empowers onboard flight computers to direct engine thrust independently of the aircraft, potentially rendering it one of the most agile fighters globally. However, the X-62 AVIST's distinction lies in its unique onboard flight control system, utilizing thrust vectoring to simulate flight characteristics akin to diverse aircraft in service from lumbering B-52s to nimble F-22 Raptors. Yet, the evolution of VISTA into an X-Plane stems not from its emulation capabilities, but from its swift adaptability to artificial intelligence. The year 2021 marked a transformation as the VSTA simulation system VSS, flight control computer was replaced by the System for Autonomous Control of Simulation SACOS. This innovation facilitates the seamless integration of algorithm-based AI agents into the aircraft's operation. These AI agents, designed to test and learn from real fighter pilots, are not merely simulated but have the capability to actively fly alongside human operators. This dual-purpose endeavor aims to provide AI systems genuine flight experience and foster trust between human pilots and AI co-pilots. In February of the same year, the X-62 AVS Day achieved a significant milestone by successfully conducting air combat exercises under eye control. Over a two-week period in December, the aircraft demonstrated its agility and versatility by executing combat maneuvers. Notably, the X-62A smoothly transitioned between distinct AI agents developed by different entities, expediting the refinement of multiple AI models. This success contributes to the broader U.S. Air Force AI initiative known as Skyborg, where AI pilot agents are being integrated into additional F-16s equipped with advanced combat systems. The saga of X-Planes advances further with the X-61 Gremlin, a project poised to transform cargo aircraft into drone-carrying airborne platforms. In a strategic shift toward affordable mass, the U.S. Air Force aims to regain overwhelming operational capacity. The X-61 A Gremlin, a compact airframe measuring around a third of an F-16 size, showcases remarkable potential for launching and recovering drones in flight. With the capability to be deployed from a C-130 aircraft, the X-61A can fly independently, reaching speeds of approximately 460 miles per hour and covering ranges of up to 300 miles before being safely recovered. This innovation paves the way for drone swarms, 
serving various roles in target saturation, electronic warfare, munitions delivery and sensor extension, enhancing mission effectiveness without overburdening resources or risking valuable crew. The dawn of the X-62 AVISTA and the advent of the X-61 Gremlin exemplify the U.S. Air Force's pursuit of innovative solutions to enhance operational capabilities, utilizing advanced technology and artificial intelligence to reshape the future of aerial warfare. Sculpting the Sonic Sky The X-59 Equest, deliberately stylized to vex copy editors, revolves around a remarkable endeavor, converting the resounding shockwaves of supersonic flight into more subdued sonic thuds. It's a lesser-known fact that most aircraft are prohibited from exceeding the speed of sound over a majority of U.S. airspace due to the potential damage inflicted by sonic booms on ground structures. While exceptions occur when intercepting rogue civilian or commercial aircraft, NASA, in collaboration with the Air Force and Lockheed Martin, is determined to rewrite this restriction. The quirky name, X-59, cleverly plays on NASA's enduring pursuit of quiet supersonic technology, Quest, a spelling that invites curiosity. To grasp the X-59's significance, we must decipher the phenomenon of sonic booms. As an aircraft slices through the atmosphere, it generates pressure waves akin to the wake trailing a boat. These waves advance at the speed of sound and intensify as the aircraft approaches the sonic barrier, culminating in a resounding shockwave or sonic boom. Audibly resembling a thunderclap on the ground, this during disturbance is shaped by the aircraft's design and interaction with the air. The X-59 Quest endeavors to mitigate this disruptive shockwave envisioning a future where supersonic flight becomes viable over populated regions. Success could usher in a new era of aviation, with both commercial and military aircraft routinely surpassing the sound barrier above densely inhabited areas, significantly shortening travel durations. While discussions often center around commercial travel benefits, the program's implications extend to defense. In an era where air superiority embraces a strategic blend of stealth and speed, the X-59 program assumes importance. Modern air defense advancements and the exigencies of counter-terror operations have renewed interest in rapid aerial maneuverability. Supersonic flight over populated regions could bolster support for remote special operations, expedite logistical aid, and facilitate swift execution of high-priority missions, such as neutralizing high-profile targets on short notice. This resurgence of speed holds immense potential positioning the X-59 as a linchpin in its revitalization. The X-59's sleek dimensions, a mere 29.5-foot wingspan, shorter than an S-16, belie its impressive stature, stretching 94 feet from nose to tail. A single General Electric F-414 afterburning turbofan engine propels the aircraft, reminiscent of the power plants propelling contemporary A-18 Super Hornets. This unconventional aircraft draws from an array of existing components, its cockpit, ejection seat, canopy from the Northrop T-38, and landing gear from the F-16. Engineered with ingenuity, its elongated yet slender frame and strategically positioned canards deter shockwave convergence, minimizing sonic booms. Anticipated to achieve a top speed of Mach 1.5 and sustain a cruising velocity around Mach 1.42, the X-59's design aims to mitigate the formation of disruptive shockwaves, fostering a future where supersonic flight becomes harmonious with populated locales. Should the X-59 quest follow its projected course, it promises to revolutionize the skies, propelling aviation into a new era where the cacophony of sonic booms gives way to a more tranquil symphony of sonic thuds.